Hello, welcome to my presentation. I will be presenting my FMP project, Ribbit the Pull Frog. Um, I wanted to make a little platformer game where you play as a little frog. Um, I wanted something that sort of has a good feel to it. So I wanted something with like grappling mechanics that felt really good to sort of interact with and play. And uh, I think, yeah, I think it turned out really good. Here's your little frog. Um, you'll note this is the end point. This is where you're going to hit. I implemented this because of criticisms early on about not knowing where you were going to hit. So uh, by implementing that stuff, it means that the player knows if they're going to hit or not and where they're going to hit. Um, here's our little boss man character. Uh, you can interact with him. He'll talk to you. You can't really leave, which is one of the bigger problems that I've noted, is that like players sort of start getting a little worn down by this. So, yeah. That's one of my sort of more criticisms is that it does take a while to get through that and uh, it's a little, you know, not great. If you can, if you go up here, you'll find a little secret. Here's an abstract shape. He's a reward for exploring. Um... One of the things that has been, that sort of, you can do is like, yeah, so you have two different abilities. One of them is the grapple and one of them is the zip. The zip pulls you towards something. The grapple is just that uh, grapple, but it's reliable and consistent. The zip pulls you towards something and you're going to just stay there, right? You can't really, you know, move much more after you've zipped there, right? You're just stuck there. Whereas the grapple is intended to be more like a consistent, reliable, I can sort of pull myself up kind of rope that like is, you know, reliable and consistent and frequently used. Um, one of the problems that I noticed early on in development was that players weren't using the grapple as much because they were just doing that, basically. So I tried to make it so that the uh, grapple could be a little bit more useful by um, having it so that you can do this stuff. Um, this here. By just sort of increasing and decreasing your length. And also by um, sort of making it so it has a longer range than the zip does. Because by having a shorter range, it means that you're more reliable to use that over this, right? Um, yeah. This area here, I put sort of a little arrow pointing downwards because I sort of got some criticisms um, about not knowing where to go after so long in specifically this room. Um, so I sort of noted those down and sort of put in a little arrow here so maybe players could tell that you're meant to go down there. And, uh, yeah. Um, if you go down here, you'll just go back up there so you can continue being in this area. Like, there's no punishment for death. Or anything. So it's, it's fairly good. Um... Yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah. If you get all the way over here, you are sort of given a thanks for delivering the guy's pizza from earlier. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of where I got to in development. Um, it's mostly from this point, like exploring and you can find sort of secrets. Um, I, I can show you one of the secrets. We went to it earlier. Um, 
I sort of, I wanted to implement like a secret character or something that you could talk to. So uh, I implemented myself as a secret character in the game that you can go talk to. Uh, yeah. There we are. Yeah, so here I am. I'm a secret character. And uh, yeah, I'll just talk to Ribbit. Um, I wanted to make something that was just kind of satisfying to play. And I think I fairly succeeded here. Like, I love the little particle effects that he makes when he runs. The sound effect for walking is particularly satisfying in my opinion. It just kind of... It, exudes this kind of very sweet energy. Um, the tongue noises are a bit irritating, and I'll sort of concede to that. They need some better diversity um, in noises, because a full game of that would be rather irritating um, in the long term. But, uh, I, you know, I think I just kind of wanted to make something that's, like, a bit experimental and a bit, you know, a bit more focused on trying to make something that I just really wanted to make, you know? Um, yeah, there's sort of one more room left, which is this one. This was going to be a save room at one point because I wanted it to be like a Metroidvania game and sort of this would be like the midpoint where you save in the level. But uh, I didn't exactly know what to do here so I just sort of left it empty through most of development and uh, yeah that's why it's that, that way now. I just sort of filled it with random garbage and clutter to sort of allow players to try things out in this sort of more open space. Um, yeah. Overall, I'm fairly positive. Um, one of the things that I sort of needed to implement early on was that you can't have mid-air control. And that's because uh, if you have mid-air control, it means that like the players aren't going to use the grapples. So... It leads to a couple of very finicky things where, like, you're in midair and you, you know, you like that. Where you need to sort of move back. And I think if I granted, like, a little bit of midair control, that maybe would be a good idea. But, like, I wanted it so you would be reliant on the grapple for maneuverability. You would feel a little bit stifled by, um, walking around so the players would be encouraged to sort of grapple and zip their way all over the map yeah but uh yeah i just wanted something kind of wholesome sweet um overall i'm really satisfied with this project uh there is one other thing that i did implement that was really sort of another little nice in input was if you press shift, you can just do the, like, open mouth animation, regular, but, like, without the... You can do the regular mouth animation, but without the, um, addition of being grappled, so you can just kind of smile at people. Problem is that the, uh... Walking isn't working uh, at all, and it makes it think that you're in grapple mode, basically. So you can't jump, and you're very slippery. But uh, other than that, it's sort of... I just thought it was a sweet little adorable addition to implement that would be, like, just kind of nice. Um, yeah. I just, you know... It's a, I just wanted something sort of that felt fun to play 
and from all the comments that I've heard from other people, is this just feels really fun, and it's just really creatively fulfilling to just kind of jazz about like this. It's just, yeah, it's just really, like, cool to just zip around and move. And that's really what I wanted. I wanted something that felt fun to move. Yeah. That's, that's all, pretty much. Bye.